Hey everyone, and welcome to part 9 of um, my Fire Red playthrough. On the last episode, we went through um, the hellhole that is Rock Tunnel. Um, in this episode, we're going to be covering uh, Lavender Town. Um, well, not the entirety of it, but. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so Pokemon Center's here, blah blah blah, Sandy stuff. Okay, so this is the Pokemon Tower. Um, we won't be covering it fully right now, but um, we'll we'll cover some of it because there is a rival battle there. But so this is uh, the Latham the Volunteer Pokemon House. Mr. Fuji isn't here. Okay, so apparently he looks after orphaned and uh, sick Pokemon or whatever. Okay, so let's keep moving. So yeah, the story is that um, the tower is being haunted by um, a Marowak that was killed by uh, Team Rocket. Okay, so this is the name rater. Um, the name rater will change your nickname of any Pokemon. Oh, I should heal. Um, that isn't traded. If it's traded, you cannot you cannot name it, nickname it again. Um, I am actually going to change my um, War Turtles nickname because um, I think I've thought of a better one. Um, it doesn't really go with a water type, but it goes with Blastoise, so I thought I'd just go with it. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the capital. Oops. There we go. I think it would go better with um, electric types, but oh well. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a good name. Okay, so I must go heal just before I forget. I've already seen this place before. Standard Pokemon Center, really, not much has changed. Guess we could speak to the people in here. So yeah, very sad story really. Come on, speak to me. That was kind of gross. <laughs> A Cubone's skull is the um, skull of its dead mother, which is equally as depressing. Okay, so something that isn't as depressing is the Pokemon Mart, which is over here. Um, I'm going to cover the Pokemon uh, tower in just a second because I absolutely must get my next Pokemon right now. Although we will cover the Pokemon Mart since I need to get some more Pokeballs. Uh, I will also buy some more repels because I really need some. Okay, so they only do Great Balls here, but that's fine. 10 Great Balls and Super Repels, awesome. Super Repels are the best ones to buy because they're the most cost effective. Um, Although it's probably better to buy max potions until black two and white two because um, in black two and white two you have the option to auto renew your repel, uh, which is nice. I think she is going to battle me if I walk behind this guy, and I think she uses either a Wigglytuff or a Kefairy, so I think I'll just fight her. I wonder. I wonder if it's a wiggly. Uh, do I say wiggly tough? I meant jiggly puff. Okay, so Clefairy. Let's brick break it. Wait, no, I think she has two Clefairies. I thought she had a Clefairy and a jiggly puff, but no, she does have two Clefairies. Okay. The levels have creeped up a little bit, I think. To be honest, I'd just like to forget about Rock Tunnel. Just a disgraceful place. The only thing that is the saving grace of that hell hole is that amazing move Rock Slide. Other than Rock Slide, nothing. <laughs> okay. So thank god we can finally get my third Pokemon. 
unfortunately I do need cut, but there are a few berry shadows in here, so here's one. Rawest berry, kills burn. Is this the Pokemon? Yes it is, this is Growlithe. Uh, Growlithe is the... Uh, this is not the one I want. I'm going to knock it out though. Um, Growlithe is the fire type um, Pokemon that you can get in Fire Red. Um, it is a pure fire type all the way through its evolutions. Um, it evolves into Arcanine through the use of a Fire Stone which we can get in the next city, which is awesome. Leperberry heals 10 PP by the way. Um, it can have one of two abilities, Flash Fire or Intimidate. Um, both are quite good as Flash Fire gives um, Arcanine an immunity. Um, Lumberry heals any type of status infliction apart from infatuation, I think. Um, but yeah, um, I'm pers I personally want Intimidate because I feel that it's better um, in game. Uh, but Flash Fire is generally a good choice as well. Okay, so this one's got Intimidate. Uh, I think I'll just quick attack it, see how much it does. That's a perfect amount. Glad it's got Ember. Really? Really? Wow. That's a 10% chance of activating. Oh. Just when I don't need <laughs> a critical hit, of course I get one. Oh well. It cans. Another Pokemon you can find here. Um, so yeah, I didn't finish its um, review. Uh, Arcanine learns a decent amount of moves. Um, unfortunately it doesn't really have too much to cover water types in this game. Um, it gets that in the next one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have an electric type to cover that weakness anyway. Well, and a grass type, so it'll be fine. Um, so... Essentially, you're going to want to keep it as a growl if you do decide to use a Growlithe. Um, you'll probably want to keep it as a Growlithe until level 31, um, because then it will learn a pretty important move, which is Flame Wheel. Uh, Flame Wheel is only 60 power, um, and if you have 200,000 Poke Dollars, like you have stacked up, perhaps towards the end of the game, um, you can go to the game corner and buy yourself uh, coins to get yourself. Um, a uh, flamethrower TM, which is an amazing move for it. Alternatively, you could give it a fire blast TM, but I don't like fire blast as much personally. Um, but yeah, um, it lends a decent amount of moves. It can cover its weaknesses quite well. It like it gets Iron Tail to cover rock types. Um, I'm trying to think of its total weaknesses. It's weak to rock, ground, and water. I think. I don't think it's weak to anything else. Uh, no, it's not weak to anything else. So yeah, um, it also doesn't learn any new moves once it's turned. Once oh, it's turned, nice. It evolves into Arcanine. Um, however, um, it does learn the move Extreme Speed at level 41. Maybe I'm not entirely sure on that, but Extreme Speed is a must-have move for it gives it priority which it doesn't desperately need but in game it's always good to have at least one Pokemon who has a priority move. Um, and Extreme Speed is the best one um, in this generation. The best one. And Arcanine is a great user of it. Um, but yeah, Arcanine has very balanced stats. Um, it's got great speed, great attacking stats, great defences. Um, it's just a, an amazing Pokemon. Just generally an amazing Pokemon. It's definitely worth considering. Um, the Leaf Green uh, alternative is Vulpix. Um, Vulpix also evolves into its evolution through the use of a Firestone, which is Ninetales. Um, Ninetales is not nearly as good as Arcanine, it has to be said. Uh, not until Gen 5, anyway. Um, the reason why is that Vulpix and its evolution Ninetales don't have too great of a special attack stat, which is what they really, really, really need. Um, I think I'm just going to cry and try catch it at that. Um, its best stat is special defense, which is really bad because, to be honest, it really needs to um, defend itself from ground and rock type moves rather than water because. Um, 
I think it can cover itself with rock type moves. That's an annoying part of Growlithe. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I don't recommend Nine Tails at all. They're better fire types, trust me. Um, but yeah, it's it's just not good enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> If you absolutely must use it, you go for it, but it's just not worth it. I really hate that. So Raw makes it so the battle ends. It's a bit like Teleport, but just... Yeah, it's a bit like Teleport. Um, okay, so... <sighs> if this takes much longer, I may as well just... If this one doesn't have Intimidate... Okay, good. I hope this one doesn't use raw. I'm <laughs> just going to try and catch it, actually. I'm going to catch it, and then it's going to have a really lousy nature. I'm sure of it. Don't use raw. Thank you. Okay, so if I don't catch this one, or whatever happens, um, I think I'll pause the recording just so that I can find a decent one. Um, and then... I'll start the recording again and we'll go and cover Pokemon Tower. Okay, so... Oh, I went through a bit that a bit quickly. Okay, so I'm going to give this a really name, lame nickname. <laughs> it's the best I could think of, to be honest. Yeah, I know. I know. You, you don't have to. You don't have to even say anything. Naive. I have no idea what that does. I, I have no idea what that does. I'm going to use it anyway. I think it's fine. As long as it doesn't reduce speed, I think it'll be fine. And its speed seems to be sufficient. Okay. Oh, actually, I will just take that ball spare off. It usually holds a raw sperry, um, but fire types can never ever become burned. So, oh hello, must remember about you. Okay, so let us go back to Lavender Town and heal up. Okay. Okay, so I am actually going to teach. Um, my Growlith area lace. Um, I don't really see another. There aren't too many good moves for it, to be honest. Um, and I'm not planning to teach area lace to any other Pokemon. Um, because my flying type is going to have fly, basically. So I do not need raw. Um, raw in a battle basically forces the opponent to switch. Well, it not necessarily it basically forces them out so they app so um one of their teammates gets switched in instead it's not too good unless you've got a team that us utilizes spikes to be honest um and i don't think there are any decent spike pokemon in this game apart from possibly cloister but even then um spikes isn't really worth using Okay, so I think I will cover this route just before I go do the rival battle. Um, the Pokemon here aren't particularly strong. Oh, see, that would have been better if it said, I'm a rambling, gambling dude. It'd just be better. And a Growlithe. Okay, cool. I think I will switch train. Just for a while. Double Intimidate. Uh, I will definitely switch for Sparky. I don't plan to evolve my Wartortle anytime soon, to be honest. Very useless move there, Odor Sleuth. It's essentially just a different type of Foresight, um, and what that does is it either makes um, a Pokémon that's been spamming Evasion or uh, not Evasion. Uh, uh, double team or minimize um, susceptible to moves again um, or it allows you to hit a ghost type with um, normal or fighting type moves. So 
So if you use that on a Sableye, then you can get a super effective hit on it. Although Sableye is not in this game. So yeah. Let's Thunderbolt this Vulpix. See, Arcanine isn't incredibly good uh, move pool wise, um, but it learns enough moves to get by. So it's true, you do need strategy to win. Uh, I doubt you need strategy to win this battle, though. So Grimer, I guess we could see how well Hot Dog does. It's faster. It's an upside. That did terribly. Let's see how if Emma does any better. That's about as about as bad. So there's a good example. There's Minimize. Luckily, Aerial Ace has a uh, perfect accuracy. So, aha! But it was obviously predict predicting me to do that. Let's bite. Hope for a flinch or something. Or just miss altogether. Wow, this Grimer likes to stall. Flinch. Of course not. I think I'm going to have to off screen train this um, Growlithe just because it is massively behind in levels. And that sludge did a lot of damage and I intimidated, I intimidated this gra uh, Grimer. Right, let's area lace. Hopefully it KOs. Good. In a nice amount of experience there, and oh a Jesus, a muck. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't actually explain, uh, I don't think we've seen it before, but Grimer is a poison type. Quite specially defensive, and muck is its evolution. Unfortunately I am going to have to switch out for Shell Shock here. Uh, just because I want to utilise Dig and Growlithe has not got a sufficient amount of HP. Hard and minimize, how I don't like that combination. Watch me miss. Oh good. This won't do nearly as much. Or it'll just miss all together, of course. Be nice if it confuses. Like that. Now the hacks are on your side. Hit yourself. Uh. Okay. Do it with a bite and knock that thing out. Level 17, nice. And another Grimer. Hello. Completely held down on my down button there. Okay. I'm saying okay again. So let's switch out. For Sparky. Let's hit it with a nice swift thunderbolt. Take it out, nice. That was a really long battle actually. Okay, so, oh, okay, we have twins. Not to heal up my Growlithe, actually, because I want to keep it in this battle. High potion, whatever. Don't need to heal that much HP, but... Doesn't matter. Right, I want Sparky up. No, I wanted to switch it. Oh, you have to be right next to them, I forgot. Ha, shell shock you. <sighs> okay, so. Nice double battle here. I don't know how many double battles we've actually had in this game so far, but... Here's one of few. Um, that Jigglypuff is getting taken out for anything. Just because I know it's going to use Sing or attract, or something like that. Ok, 
Okay, so destroy that thing. Gain some experience for hot dog. I like how um, fast my hot dog is actually. Wow, Sparky tanking hits like a pro there. It's to Ember again and another brick break. I'm not sure if you can get the amulet. Well, I assume you can, but I don't know where you get the amulet coin in this game. Because you can get the um, the VS. Oh sh crap! I just <laughs> I didn't know she was right there. Um, you do look silly standing like that. Um, because you get the VS seeker in the. Oh god! You get the VS seeker in this game. Um, so you can grind to get some money. Um, and I may do that because. Um, training up an Arcanine is much easier than training up a Growlithe. And I would really like that flamethrower to yeah. It would make thing, my life so much easier. Well, you can get flamethrower in um, Celadon City. Uh, so if that's where you're wondering, you get it. Well, you buy it for, uh, with coins in the game corner. And quite frankly, I don't fancy doing the slots. So many quick attacking noobs. Come on. I'm glad that missed. It means this quick attack can't take me out. Well, unless it critted me, which it didn't, so. Hot dog doing some work. Those are pretty nice stats for level 18, actually. I need a round male. I can't see myself living any hit from it, so I think I'll switch out. I was expecting a double kick to be honest, but hey, let's thunderbolt it as it's not yet a ground type. And a critical hit which definitely did not matter. And a Meowth. Actually I don't think that's her last Pokemon, but... Yeah, it's not. I need to buy some more, like, lower healing items. Well, actually, the Celadon um, department store is coming up, and you can buy lemonade there, which is an amazing thing to have. Okay, so that's Meowth's signature move, Payday. I don't know why I didn't use Brute Break. Um, we end up going to end up getting a few more, or a bit more um, cash at the end of this battle because Payday generates money. And lastly a Pikachu. That is the downside of Switch training when you've got Intimidate. It does take forever to get that animation going. Oh well. How I hate Double Team. It's going to be difficult to say goodbye to Sparky. <laughs> Even though I, 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 I've been impressed with how well Sparky's been doing, despite its fairly lousy stats, to be honest. Um, but I, I really don't want to use Raichu. Sorry, any Raichu fans, but I just don't like it. <laughs> I prefer Pikachu, but Pikachu is just not usable. I mean, even if you've got the Light Ball, it's just a bit meh. Especially in this game when um, you uh, it's only its special attack which gets boosted. So you can't you can you, the only moves you're getting really are Thunderbolt is Thunderbolt. I mean I guess if you were to get a special hidden power you'd be fine. Especially ice, you'd be amazing if you got ice, but um It's just ugh. <laughs> I I I always like to have Brick Break on a Raichu, um, but if you've got the Light Boy, it's not doing anything for you. Okay, so despite that Meowth being level 24, I think I can take it. Not bothered about that Growl whatsoever. I did a pitiful amount of damage. Well, not pitiful, but just I'm doing more. Get some extra cash, cool. Thanks for that, Meowth. 
fight. That's gonna... Wow, that did more. How did that do more? That wasn't even a uh, stab. Damn you for flinching me. Flinching. I can't speak. Okay, so going to experience and another Meowth. I wonder if you've got three Meowths. Oops. Change for Sparky. And, uh. Let's destroyish this thing with Brick Break. We achieved our goal. We destroyish that Meowth. Oh look, I was right. Three Meowths. Why am I not surprised? Right. Okay. Intimidate does get a little annoying with that long animation, as I literally just said. I'm running out of things to say, but um, Intimidate definitely uh, works out better in the long run. Especially in the tough fights. Just works out so well. Because even if you know that Arcanine is going to go down, you could always just switch it in, intimidate something, and then extreme speed before you die. So, you know. I personally do think Arcanine is an amazing Pokemon. And it gets better in the generation shift. As it gets away to combat, um water types. I mean technically you could give yourself um, hidden power grass or electric but um, I don't know I feel like it, it's better off with a different type of hidden power but oh well I don't know if we've seen coughing before I'd assume we have. Wow, that gave a lot of experience. Oda Sleuth, we do not need that at all. I have Bite if I want to get toe to toe with a Grass type. Uh, not Grass, Ghost type. Oh, great. I wonder what Pokemon you have. Oh, excuse me, I'm very tired. <laughs> anyway. Let's just kill off these Nidorans and move on with our lives. Double kick. Uh, Thunderbolt. I was kind of doubting whether to use Thunderbolt then, I don't know why. Oh, I need a Reno. I thought you'd have a Nidoran male. You surprised me. Right, so let's send our Growlithe back out, intimidate that Nidorina, and then switch back out. Sparky. Critical hit. No poison doesn't want to poison me lately. I'm happy about that, to be honest, but... Still doesn't want to poison me. Oh well, not complaining. Another nice load of experience. And uh, let's move on. Oh, really? Well, I will prove to you that that is an empty threat. Grimer. Hmm. You really think you're going to get past me with a Grimer? Although, actually, Sludge does do a lot of damage. <laughs> Don't use Sludge, please. Of course it does. Ugh. God. I'm on one HP, why would you not kill me off? Watch me miss. Oh good. I 
And another Grimer. My team needs some healing. Luckily after the battles on this route, um, the route that's just after Saffron City um, doesn't have any trainers on. Although we can't, still can't go through Saffron City yet. And we can't for a while. I don't know why I changed to Sparky. <laughs> just kind of used to it. Let's see if it still doesn't want to attack me. Okay, the one before it must have just had better stats or something. I am for real. What are you going to do about it? And another cyclist, or whatever your name is. Biker, I suppose. Well then get it fixed. <laughs> you don't need to tell me about it. Okay, Biker Ricardo has a coughing. I'm trying my luck here because I really don't want to give Shellshock any more experience. Okay. <laughs> Just glued to that down button. Okay, so let's water pulse it. Remember, coughing's got levitate, so it's not affected by ground type moves in the slightest. And let's change back. Wherever hot dog's gone. To get to level 20 in this uh, fight, which is good. Wish I caught that level 18 one, but it doesn't matter. Let's see how much this does. But I've just realised how high Shellshock's HP stat is. It's like massive compared to uh, Sparky's. Level 20, awesome. And a Grimer. But actually, I guess it isn't that high compared to Sparky. Still quite high though. Okay. So one final Grimer. Let's intimidate it and switch back out. Once again. I think there's one more trainer on this route. I hope there's only one. Can't be bothered with any more, to be honest. I feel like this is just a repeat of uh, Rock Tunnel. Same old Pokemon over and over and over again. Although, frankly, it wasn't nearly as boring. At least I've actually managed to finally get my third Pokemon. Although I'm getting worryingly close to level 36. Yeah, one fi oh, two final... Yeah, two trainers. Okay, we'll play the game of I will beat you. Poliwag. I do not want to fight this, even if I was ably leveled. I don't think that was a very good phrase at all. I wish I'd revived Sparky, actually. I'm glad that missed. Uh, let's bite it. And another Poliwag. Do you have three Poliwags by any chance? Shock me if you do. Trust me. Water gun. Well, actually, I guess Water Tool does have a shell. I was kind of thinking, oh, hang on. I'm naming it Shell Shock, and yet it's not a Blastoise yet, but it does have a shell. And a Poly Whirl. Okay. So this is worrying, I'm getting a Blastoise in this episode. Oh dear. Okay, so Poliwell is, as you might have guessed, the evolved form of Poliwag. 
it's still not incredibly strong, but uh, yeah. If you do happen to get yourself a polywell in whatever way, uh, you can trade it for that Jinx in um, Cerulean City. Definitely a good trade because uh, Jinx is much better than Poliwell, to be honest. Poliwell's evolved from Polyrath as a water fighting type, but it's just. It's okay, but it's not that good. Okay, so this is very, very worrying. And my HP stat is about to go even higher. <laughs> okay, so let's get to level 36 and evolve. Once more. I do like Blastoise's uh, sprite in this game though. It does look quite cool. So there's Blastoise. Let's have a look at our new Blastoise. Nice. I'm liking those defensive stats. They're really high. And the HP stats just gone up even more. Uh, those offensive stats are kind of meh for a fully evolved Pokemon, but they're good enough, I guess. I picked Squirtle fully knowing that, though. Um, I really... Yeah, screw it. Let's just revive Sparky rather than going back to the Pokemon Center. Hopefully I can take this guy out without needing to... Uh, Sacrifice too much. Uh, my chemistry grades are B's. How about yours? Voltor. Hmm. I'm sure that even if you survive next turn, you wouldn't use an electric type move. Even if I brought out my water type, you still wouldn't bother. Trainers are so dumb in this game. Level 35 Sparky, cool. And a coughing. Really would look just like to use Hot Dog, it's actually really annoying me now having to keep switching. Switching. Do I have any healing item at all? Mm, no. Oh, actually, I actually have one potion. Nah, but I see a sludge coming. Let's just switch. Don't like switching, but hey. Just Thunderbolt. out that coughing. Another Voltorb. I can't remember when you actually get the VS Seeker actually. Um, I think it's around Fuchsia City but I'm not sure. Fuchsia City is going to be a big place for me because I'm going to be getting two Pokemon there as well as the VS Seeker I think and you also get the good and super rod pretty much at the same time which is really bad game planning to be honest but um, oh well I digress let's destroy that thing get to level 21 gain some more special attack which is nice oh and a magnemite let's see if hot dog can take this out on 12 HP magnemite might have sonic boom which would just destroy me but let's see See what we can do. Ember. Wait for it. <laughs> I don't think that would have taken me out anyway. Magnemite's attack stat is just not good enough. Okay. Nice experience there. Okay, so... I'm saying it again. <laughs> keep picking up on the fact that I keep saying that over and over again. Lately I've been saying over and over again a lot. Same boring repetitive Pokemon though. In 
every single route. Especially in that rock tunnel. Same trainers with the same Pokemon. Right, let's heal our Pokemon. Um, let's... Yeah, let's take on Gary. Okay, so this is the Pokemon Tower. Um, I don't remember whether you can find any Pokemon on the floor that Gary's on. I don't think you can, but even if you could, um, don't get your hopes up because um, uh, you can't literally fight the Pokemon um, here at all. You need the it's not the self scope. Um, I cannot think of its name at all. Um, it's some sort of scope, um, and you can't get it until um, much later in the game. So you can't get yourself a Ghastly or a Cubone yet, so don't worry too much. They will get full reviews when they can be covered though. Damn you for sad attack. Damn you for double sad attack. <laughs> Wow, I hate you. Luckily, when it, whatever seems to happen with me is whenever I get hit by sand attack or something like that. Um, I missed the first turn. A Gyarados? Okay. Um, I get hit. I miss the first turn, and then if it uses sand attack again, then I hit the second time. Wow, I would absolutely love to take this out with um, my hot dog, but. I just need to switch. There's no freaking way I'm taking out a Gyarados on my own. Pikachu is needed for this. Oh god, this could hurt. Ouch. Thank god for that static though. Okay, so, it's Thunderbolt. This Gyarados is not living despite its pretty good special defense. Critical hit, didn't matter, no way. Oh, I love that experience. Oh look, a Growlithe. <laughs> a Growlithe is of its own. Okay. I can guarantee you that my Growlithe is better. And wow, you have two Pokemon with Intimidate. Uh, let's just send out Shell Shock, screw it. Is that big shell? That did nothing. Destroy that dog with uh, Water Pulse. Ivy Saw. Now this thing is being taken out by my uh, Fire Type. Now that I finally got one, I'm going to use it. Despite being level 25, I don't care at all. The worst it can do is sleep or poison powder me. I'm not too bothered about paralysis. Meh, I don't think this will do too much. Actually, ouch, yes it did. <laughs> okay, well let's just keep going with Ember. Mm, that's a bit of a... oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Uh, I can't be bothered to heal this to be honest. I don't think I have anything to heal it. Actually I might. I keep thinking the bag is there. Um, oh I do. Unfortunately I think he's going to heal this turn. Or not. Okay. Nice. Nice amount of experience. And a Kadabra. Much as I would love to take this out with um, Bite, I don't think I will. <laughs> Going into Sparky Risky here. This could hurt. Wasn't too bad actually. I was expecting it's KO. Even though there's a 15 level difference, Kadabra is pretty strong. 
not even fully evolved and it's got base 120 special attack, which is massive. Okay, so it looks like Hirozi had the has the scope. I hate you. <laughs> Although actually I don't really hate him because I don't care about the two Pokemon you can find here. Ghastly and Cubo, they do not matter to me at all. Okay, so let's heal. Okay, so for the remainder of this episode I think we'll get ourselves to Celadon City. Um and then I'm a bit a bit of bit of a bad situation with my Growlithe because I want to train it but I'm not sure what level to stop train like grinding at because there's no way I'm training it up to level 35 because I'll just be I went the wrong way um, because I'll be far too over leveled I'm not sure what level um, Erica who's the next gym leader um, her strongest Pokemon is but I can guarantee that it's nowhere near as high as 36 so there's no way I'm training it that high. Okay, so we're now on Route 7. I don't think there's any new Pokemon in this route. There would be if we were playing Gold, Silver or Heart, Gold and Soul, Silver, but in this game there is not. There is one new Pokemon in Celadon City. Uh, actually, no, there's two, actually. Uh, so yeah, we'll cover those. On the next episode, I think. I think I just healed, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll end in the middle of the Pokeball. Uh, so, yeah, on the next episode, I think we'll cover Celadon City. Um, in the meantime, I think I'll decide whether I want to... Well, because I've got to do off-screen training anyway, because I don't want to bore you, but... Um, I think I'll do some off-screen training. I'll think about what level I want to get it to and then I'll see where you can get the amulet coin and where you get the VS seeker and see what I'm can, I can do about Thunderbolt uh, not Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, sorry okay so that'll all be coming on the next episode, until then, see you next time